Okay, I heard pretty positive feedback about the math lesson yesterday, and that made me very happy. So, um, we're going to just jump ahead, and I'm going to do a quick review. So, I'm going to write down, I want you guys to have that scrap paper available again. Just rip out another piece from the back of your journal. And we're going to start with um, adding the commas into the... Um, into the multiple digit number. So I'm going to just write down a few right here and then we're going to go over them in just a moment. So as I start writing them, as you can see them, you start rewriting them and adding that comma where it belongs. Okay, so our first number up here, oh, well, I'm going to give you a minute, let you finish that. Okay, so the first number, how would you say that? That one is 3,075. I'm going to go back, one, tens, hundreds, comma, marks my thousands. Okay, and that would make sense, three, and then our comma shows that word thousand. Okay, the second one, how would we say that number? 15,690. Awesome. So I've got my one, two, three. And if, if I think about how I said that, 15 comma says what? 1,000, good, 690. Awesome job. Okay, the third number. Tell me that one. Okay, that's 83,007. I know sometimes with those zeros, we don't quite know what to say. So 83,007. Ones, tens, hundreds. And I think about 83. My comma marks that word thousands. And the last one is... That one is 720,318. All right, check your work. Fix any... Thing we may have um, missed. If you did miss one and you're a little confused, my video is still up, so you can always go back and double check anything. Now I'm going to write the word, and I want you to um, write the digits with it, okay? Once you can see it, I want you to write it with digits. Even though I just knocked my camera. Okay, so I'm going to write this in a different color. So uh, my first number is, says 11,073. So I'm going to write 11, comma says what? 1,000. Now 73, I know that's going to represent no hundreds, but 73. Okay, check your work. This one, the next one says 1,800. So I have a one, my comma says what? 1,000, and I just write 800 as I usually would. And my last one is 50,002. So I'm gonna write 50, my comma says what? 1,000 and two, I need my two placeholders there, okay? 
So check your work with that. So that is just a quick review over what we did yesterday. Feel free to pause, go back over, look at yesterday's video, do whatever you need to do to really understand that. Always let me know if there's something that's confusing. Um, but now we're going to jump ahead and we're going to work on learning how to multiply by a hundred and by a thousand. So with that, I want us to think about what is our trick when we multiply by 10. If I were to do 72 times 10, let me get that so you can see it, 72 times 10, what would I do here? You guys remember, I would just add that zero, and that would make it 720. So now, because I have one zero for my tens, I add one zero to my answer. Now, we're going to add however many zeros our multiple of 10 has, um, that's how many zeros we'll add at the end. So if 72 times 10 is 720, then 72 times 100, what do you guys think that would equal? That would be, so I would write my 72, and how many zeros would I add? I'd add two zeros. And then I look at one, two, three, here's my comma, and my number is 7,200. So we're multiplying by 100. Do you guys remember what the next number we were gonna multiply by? Thousand, so let's try it with that. 72, I'm gonna write a little bit smaller so that I can fit it all in, times 1,000. Okay, so how many zeros do I need to add to the end now. Three. So I'm going to write 72, and then how many zeros? Three, I just add those to the end. So 72 times 1,000 is what? 72,000. Okay, so let's look through here. Let's try some more. I'm gonna do nine times 100, okay? I want you to write that down. I want you to try to solve that. Let's look at how many zeros there are. So I'm gonna write my nine, and how many zeros am I gonna add? I'm gonna add two. I've got my two zeros right here, so I come and bring them to the top, because nine times one is how much? Nine, okay, and so then I can add those place values to that and it would be 900, okay? Then I have 16 times 100. So I would write my 16 and how many zeros? two. Now here, see here I only have my three, so I don't need to add a comma. But here I have four digits, so I need to make sure that I add my comma so that it says 1,600. Okay, the next one, 58 times 100. I want you to write down what you think that would be. Write my 58, add how many zeros? Two, so it equals 5,800. Okay, and the next one, I want you guys to really stop what you're doing, pay attention to this one, because this one gets tricky. This one is where we have a few extra zeros, so I don't wanna confuse you on this, okay? So, I have 30 and I have 100, 30 times 100. 
Now, just like I took this whole number and wrote it out, and then I added the zeros here, you're going to do that over here. I don't want you to get confused that 30 has a zero, okay? That is gonna stay together as a 30, and that's what I'm gonna write over here, okay? So I have 30. I still, oopsies, sorry about that. I still need to go and add those two zeros to the end. So what's 30 times 100? That would be 3,000. Okay? I want you guys to let me know. Send me messages if this is confusing to you so I can make more videos explaining it. If, if I get video or if I get answers like, this is awesome, I totally get it, I would love that. But if you're really truly confused, I need you to tell me so I can help you. Okay, now we're going to work on multiplying by a thousand. And it's going to be that same concept of where we have to add those zeros. So let's start small. Three times one thousand. How many zeros will I add? I'm going to add those three zeros, so that would equal 3,000. 18 times 1,000. Write your 18. Add your three zeros. That would be 18,000. 34 times 1,000. I want you guys to solve that one. We'll check it. Did you get 34,000? And then here is one of those that I don't want you to get mixed up with the zeros on, okay? 20 is what we're going to write first, just like we wrote 34 first. So I'm going to write 20, and then I add my three zeros. So 20 times 1,000 is 20,000. Thumbs up, thumbs sideways, thumbs down. How are you feeling? Write it on Padlet. Let me know, okay? All right, I'm gonna write some out right now. And I am going to give you a moment to solve them and then we're gonna go over them together. So once I start writing them, I want you to start writing them on your paper and solving them. Give you a moment. Okay, I'm gonna write the answers. If you're not ready yet, and you're like, no, 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 pause it. Okay, pause it if you're not ready to go over the answers yet. That's one of the nice things about doing this online. Okay, so eight times 100, eight, and then my two zeros, what does it equal? 
800, 19 times 1,000, I'm going to write my 19, add my three zeros for 19,000, 72 times 10, I'm going to write my 72, add the zero, 720, 60 times 1,000, I'm going to write my 60, and my three zeros, going to sneak those in there, there's three. Okay, for 60,000, <clears> 54 times 100, 54, add my two zeros for 5,400, and 95 times 1,000, I'm going to write my 95, and my three zeros for 95,000. All right, check your work. Okay, I hope today you were all able to get a good understanding of how to multiply numbers by 100 and 1,000.